Domo Amejin des. Today we have another beginning Japanese lecture, lesson 17, the particles o, ni, and e. Um, our review for today, all you have to do is go over the vocabulary from lesson 14, daily routines. Um, the important words in there that you should remember are basically all of the verbs. So, somewhere ni ikimasu, ni kimasu, ni kaerimasu, and there's also o yomimasu, o nomimasu, o tabemasu, uh, o mimasu, all those different verbs, okay? Um, we, if you remember, <laughs> uh, in those lessons, you had a place or a thing, and then some particle, so o or uh, ni, right? For movement verbs, it's ni, and then for like to eat or to drink, it's o in the middle, and then the verb whatever the verb was. We're going to look more at those particles in the middle today, so o and ni in particular. Uh, just recall all of those verbs that you learned in lesson 14 and also in lesson 16 as well. Today's key sentence is 今日の新聞を読みました. 今日の新聞を読みました. All right. Today's vocabulary, this is it, some foods and the particles that we're going to learn. Hamburger is the first one. Hamburger. That's hamburger. All right. Below that is hamburg. Hamburg. This is a hamburg. <laughs> and if you're from America, you probably don't know what this is because we don't really have that in America. I had never heard of this until I came to Japan. I'm going to explain more about this on the next slide. Up next is fish. Sakana, sakana, fish. Japan is a country of seafood. You're going to see this uh, character and this word a lot in Japan. Mizu, water. Mizu, very important. Newspaper. Shinbun, shinbun, okay? Newspaper. And then our three particles for today, the direct object particle, o. Uh, in romaji, in English letters, Roman letters, this is spelled w O, but there is no w sound, it's just o, okay? To, uh, ni, all right? And towards, e, e. It looks like he, but as a particle, it's pronounced e. We'll talk more about that in the lesson. Here's the difference between a hamburger and a hamburg. On your left over here, we have a classic hamburger. All Americans know what this is. And then over here, this chunk of meat right here is a Hamburg. I believe it comes from Germany, something like that. It's very popular in Japan. You'll see this a lot. <laughs> I had no idea what this was until I got there. I thought it was a Hamburger, but it's, it's just, it's a Hamburg, very German. Okay, getting into our grammar, direct objects. Now, direct objects are nouns. Things that you do an action on or towards or with, okay? For example, I bought a car. He ate salad. They sent an email, all right? Now, in English, direct objects usually appear right after the verb. So, here's a verb, bought, and then the direct object comes right after, a car. You can also tell what a direct object is in English by asking the question, you verbed what? You verbed what? You bought what? A car is the answer and is therefore the direct object of the verb bought. He ate salad. He ate what? He ate salad. They sent an email. They sent a what? They sent an email. So those uh, nouns all answer those questions, making them direct objects in English. And in Japanese, we mark direct objects with o. Okay, that's why in the past vocabulary, you've seen o tabemasu, o nomimasu, o mimasu. I just tagged those on there so it was easy for you to understand those uh, verbs, okay, as set phrases. For example, I eat fish. Sakana o I saw a movie. Eiga o mimashita. Eiga o mimashita. 
I read a newspaper. 新聞を読みました。Okay? 新聞 being the direct object, the newspaper being the direct object. You can add 何 what, right? What? Before o to ask what someone did or will do. 今日何をしますかあしましたか Past tense. 今日何をしましたか What did you do today? 昨日何を食べましたか What did you eat yesterday? All right? What becomes the direct object in this case? And then you would answer that with a direct object of your own. 明日の夜何を見ますか What will you watch tomorrow night? 明日の夜 being tomorrow night. 何を見ますか What will you watch? 何を飲みますか What will you drink? 何を飲みますか So,、um, let's get a little technical here, a little disclaimer. There were some verbs that we learned that already had o in them. 勉強をします。宿題をします。Okay? So, normally in a Japanese sentence, you cannot have two o's. Well, more than one. You normally cannot have more than one direct object o. In the same sentence.、Uh, so, for example, this first sentence right here is wrong grammatically and just sounds wrong. Ego o benkyo o shimas. What? <laughs> which, which one are you doing? You have to do one or the other. There can only be one o. To get around this, we could either use no as in the second sentence or the third sentence, you just get rid of the second o after benkyo or Uh, undo or shukudai, right?、Um, I've already told you guys you can get rid of it anyway.、Um, in this case, you have to get rid of it because there cannot be two o's in one sentence. So you can say, Ego no benkyo o shimas or Ego o benkyo o shimas. Okay. Activity one use the phrases in the box below to make three sentences of your own. This is This is a very、um, free activity. Your answers will probably be very different from mine, and even the answers that I've already pre written on the next slide are probably going to be different than the ones I'm going to make up right now.、Um, let's try it. Pause the video if you want to do it on your own. I'm going to start with number one now. Let's just, from the beginning, Watashi, Watashi wa, I'm going to take Watashi wa,、えー、Sakana o. Let's do Jason to Isho ni Tabemas Tabemas. So I will eat fish together with Jason. Is my first sentence. <laughs> All right. Let's do, let's do another one, number two.、And、let's see. Hmm. 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 メーゲン、メーガンは、メーゲン、メーガンは、えー、学校で、べん、日本語の宿題をしました。メーガンは、メーガンは、学校で、日本語の勉強をしました。Megan studied Japanese at school. Studied Japanese at school. We can throw in kino, kino, yesterday at the beginning, right? You could also say she did Japanese homework, homework at school yesterday. So, Megan wa、eh, gakko de nihongo no shukudai o shimashita. And then kino you could add in as well. And let's do a third one.、Uh, ano hito wa.、Mm, ano hito wa. <laughs> we could add, Ie de nomimashita. So that person over there, we don't know if it's a guy or a girl, probably a guy. Ano hito wa kanojo to, with her. This word can also mean girlfriend. So with his girlfriend, I guess, or with her,、uh, at home, they drank beer. Okay, that's, 
I mean, those are three sentences right there. Your sentences will probably be very different, but with these pieces now and these different particles, you can just throw together really a bunch of sentences um, that you want. Here are three example answers that I pre-wrote. Watashi wa Jason to issho ni sakana wo tabemasu. That one I remember. Kino Megan wa gakko de nihongo no shukudai wo shimashita. I remember that one too. Ano hito wa iede biru wo nomimasu. I, wow, I kind of remembered all of them. Cool. Next up, we have the directional particles ni and e. So for verbs of motion, like ikimasu or kimasu or kaerimasu, um, you can use ni and e to mean to. Okay? Now, there is a slight nuance, a slight difference between them. Uh, ni to Japanese ears, Japanese speaker ears, sounds more like you're going to a place for a reason. You have a purpose, you're on a mission, there's a reason why you're going to this place. And in the verbs that I taught you in lesson 14, I already threw on ni, okay? So, somewhere ni ikimasu, somewhere ni ikimasu, ie ni kaerimasu, okay? Um, that just means to, all right? You can throw any location to verb of motion, all right? We did learn already another ni, okay? So, sanji ni at three o'clock. That ni is a different ni than this ni. It's very complicated. You'll find in Japanese, ni as a particle has a lot of uses. Very versatile particle. Probably one of the most versatile particles. It gets around. Um, this ni with motion verbs means goes to, comes to, returns to. E sounds like, on the other hand, e sounds like towards. More directional. I'm going in that direction. I'm going towards this place. In practice, however, they both translate to the same thing, to, all right? Um, and you can just interchange them, and the meaning of the sentence will still be the same. Also note that even though this is he, the character for he, it's pronounced e. For example, niji ni toshokan ni ikimasu. I will go to the library at 2 o'clock. There are two ni's in here, and they're two different Knees. This ni, niji, niji ni, is at. It's with time, okay? At two o'clock. Toshokan ni. That ni means to, to, towards, to. Okay, I'm going to the library. Uh, here's the same exact sentence, just replacing the to ni with the towards e. So, niji ni toshokan e ikimasu. That's fine too. I translated them both exactly the same in English because that's how they sound in English. Activity two, complete each sentence using the most appropriate particles. This kind of activity you see very often on the JLPT. So this is good JLPT practice. Pause the video, try it on your own. Um, I'm gonna warn you that if you try this on your own, there are multiple particles that you could use for multiple answers, multiple, um, places you can put different particles. So um, I'm going to show you uh, on the next slide when I show the answers there's I'm gonna put like a slash and show you which particles can go where. Alright. I'm gonna start this right now number one. Daigets Tomodachi Nihon Ikimas Next month is Daigets. Tomodachi is your friend and Nihon of course is Japan. Ikimas is go. So there are two ways you could translate this. You could say next month, ma. It would be implied that it's yours or my. In this case, my friend will go to Japan. Daigetsu tomodachi wa nihon ni or e ikimasu. You could also say daigetsu tomodachi to nihon ni or e. So it's either my friend will go to Japan or I will go to Japan with my friend. Tomodachi to, right? The I is understood. Number two, my nichi, watashi mizu nomimasu. My nichi, watashi wa, okay? You're as for me, 
I drink water. And uh, water is a direct object. So we need o, right? O. 毎日私は水を飲みます。水を飲みます。Okay? Number three. 猫、魚、食べます。<laughs> um, this is an interesting sentence because if you mix, if you switch the particles, you get. If you mix, if you switch the particles, you get. You get an interesting picture or image here.、Um, Neko, cat is first, and usually the subject usually comes first. So we could say, Neko wa、uh, eats is in the sentence, and so is fish. So we're probably saying that cats eat fish. Neko wa sakana o tabemasu. Now you can switch the particles, and it would make an interesting sentence. Neko o sakana wa tabemasu. Because of particles, you can switch words like this in Japanese. It doesn't sound common. It's not very common to do that. But it makes sense, I guess. Fish eat cats. That's a little strange, but grammatically, I guess it's fine. Neko o sakana wa tabemasu. Neko wa sakana wa tabemasu is the best answer there. Number four. Asatte, Tanaka san, Jim, undo, shimas. Three of them in this sentence. Do you remember the word asatte? Asatte means the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Asatte. Tanaka san is a person,、uh, Mr. Tanaka or just Tanaka. Tanaka san, and he's first in the sentence, so this is probably wa, okay? Tanaka san wa, Jim, de, Jim, de. At the gym. Undo o shimas. That's one possibility. You could also say Tanaka san to with Tanaka, and then the I is understood. Asatte, Tanaka san to gym de undo o shimas. You could also say、eh, Undo shimas with no o. Okay, I'll put an X、uh, to indicate that you could answer this without even a particle. Okay, there's like several answers for number four. Number five, Ka san, ie, kaerimas, kaerimas. Ka san, wa, you can say wa, ie, ni, or e, kaerimas. Okay, you could also say, Ka san, to, ie, ni, or ie, kaerimas. So, to, or wa, after ka san, and then after ie is. Uh, ni or e. I'm warning you right now though that while both ni and e can work after the word ie,、um, ie already ends in the e sound. So most people do not say e after ie. Because <laughs> it just, it's like ie. It sounds kind of strange. Most people say ie ni. Okay? If you also read this kanji as uchi, because you can,、um, then people can say uchi e, <laughs> uchi ni kaerimasu. That's fine. Here are the answers, all the possibilities right there. And we have directly another activity. Activity three use the illustration below to make statements about where each person is going to. Use either ni or e in your sentences. All right? Pause the video, try it on your own. I'm gonna answer the question right now. Number one, Matto, Matto san. Matto wa gakko ni ikimasu or gakko e ikimasu. That's number one. Number two, Ri wa, Ri wa ie ni ikimasu. You could say ikimasu. Uh, I'm also going to throw in kaerimasu, all right, as well. Kaerimasu. So, ie ni kaerimasu. Ie kaerimasu. Ikimasu, all right. Number three, April, April,、uh, April is her name in English. April, wa supa ni or e ikimasu. Number four, Janet to Janet wa jimu ni jimu e ikimasu. Ron wa, ron wa, eiga kan, the movie theater, right? Eiga kan ni ikimasu. Eiga kan e ikimasu. 
Number six, last but not least, Tracy, 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 wa Toshokan ni ikimas. Toshokan e ikimas. And there are the answers right there. Listening practice activity four. I'm going to read two compositions twice. Listen and write down what you hear. Pause the video if you need more time. Number one. My ban. Nihongo no shukudai o shimas. My ban. Nihongo no shukudai o shimas. Pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to show the answer right now. Maiban, Nihongo no shukudai o shimas. Okay. Number two. Kyo, hachiji ni gakko e kimashita. Kyo, hachiji ni gakko e kimashita. And the answer for number two is Kyo, hachiji ni gakko e kimashita. Activity 5, translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Pause the video, try to your own. I'm going to show the answers right now. The lady on the top says, Kino hamburger wo tabemashita. Do you remember the word hamburger in our vocabulary? I ate a hamburg yesterday. Oh, hamburg. Then the guy on the bottom says, I study Chinese every day. In Japanese, that would be. 毎日 or you could also say 中国語の勉強をします。中国語の勉強をします。with no o after 勉強. Our key sentence coming back to this is 今日の新聞を読みました。You know that uh, 新聞 is newspaper. It is the direct object of 読みました or to uh, read. All right, in the past tense, I read today's newspaper. Um, here's the homework. You'll notice I changed the English at the top to the Japanese word for homework since you should know the word for homework by now. Where do you often go? All right, use ni or e. To tell me where do you where do you go normally? Um, fast food restaurants, places of study, places of worship, you know things like that. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, there is a worksheet for this lesson. You can download it by going to my website. Link in the description below. And that's about it for this lesson, guys. Kind of short. Um, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Looking forward to seeing you in a future lecture.